Today's question of the day asks, what is the slope of the line? So we've been asked to find slope. But notice, they just say, what is the slope of the line? y equals negative 2x plus 7. Notice the equal sign here. What is this thing they've given me? This is an equation. Equation of what? Well, they even tell me it's the equation of a line. Now, interesting uh, that students often don't realize that equations in math um, can draw pictures. Because equations can have more than one right answer, if you put together all their answers on a graph, you'll see a picture. So this particular equation, if I had all the answers on a graph, it would draw the picture of a line. Okay, now the really nice thing is this thing, I notice that the y is alone. Do you see how the y is alone? This equation is what we call solved for y. y is by itself on one side of the equal sign. It makes me really pleased when the line is in this form because that means it's in slope intercept. The slope intercept form of a line is a really handy way to look at a line. Now, if you forget this, the good news is this is on the GED formula sheet. It's in that bottom third um, of the formula sheet where it has the algebra formulas, but they have the slope intercept form of the line. And what you're going to notice that it says there is it says this, y equals mx plus b. What we see is we see the y alone, just like mine, the y is alone, and then we see mx, meaning um, some number of x. But remember, we've been using this letter M over and over and over again to represent the slope. Um, M is the letter we use to represent slope in algebra. And so when I say MX, if I have the Y alone, this number that's with X represents a slope. Now this B is the Y intercept. And just in this, you can see how uncreative mathematicians tend to be. We say, what, do these, what two things can we see in this form of a line? We can see the slope, and we can see the intercept. So let's call it the slope-intercept form of the line. So the great news is you don't even have to remember. You just have to look at the name that's on the formula sheet. That's the slope. That's the intercept, the two numbers that you see. So what does that mean to us? It means that whatever number is the coefficient on x, whatever number is out front of x, this number right here, is my slope. This one is known as my y-intercept, but the problem doesn't ask me about the y-intercept. It just asks me what is the slope. So what is the slope of this line? The slope is negative 2. And literally, all you had to know was how to look at this problem. No math to do.